<laughs> so anyway. Hey man, we on the spot at the spot, man. You know what I'm saying, man. Oh man, it's time, man. You know what I'm saying? It's time to go, man. You know what I'm saying? We got the one and only man, the most beautiful, the most funny, Miss Dominique LaRue. Thank you. And then you know we got to rock, man. Hi guys. <laughs> <laughs> man, Rock the Ruler, man, he been missing in action. We've been missing him and shit like that, man. Damn. You know, in another episode, we're here, his little sescapades, but uh, and not this one. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> you can only get weirder from here. Hey, go like, comment, and we ain't going to say the other word because, shit, we're going to keep going regardless if you do or don't. I mean, I would like it if they would subscribe, though. You know what I'm yeah, saying? but you know I what I mean? I mean, at least subscribe. No, dude, how many YouTube videos you watch and you really subscribe? All of them. Shut the fuck up. On the earliest, if Shut I look, up. look, I want. I'll go to, like, but I don't want. To, look, if they watching this show, I want them to like and subscribe. I want them to do both. I, man, listen. I if, want them. I want it to be airtight. If they subscribe, yeah, I hear what you mean. <laughs> if they subscribe, it's cool. If they all don't, it's cool. You know why? Why? Because we're gonna still keep giving them bad material. So at the end of it all, so fuck it. <laughs> I mean, at least we, we ain't going nowhere, hey, motherfucker. At least we owning it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Miss so, LaRue. Hey. Hi. You're hello. here. Yes, I We're, am. Yes. Mm. 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 Mm-hmm. Oh, Lord. Yes. Okay. It's already started interesting and shit like that. You know what I forgot to ask, though? What's up? You know she from L.A., yeah? I heard. Yeah, my mama, man. Where'd you go to school at? Where'd you go to high school at? Oh, I went to Hamilton. I went to Hollywood. And I went to Fairfax. Did you get kicked out of two or three of those? Only one, hmm, nice. and, but we turned back. Oh, they let you back? Yeah. She a rich kid. <laughs> That's what we call you. Go to them. It's a rich kid. You gotta be your outfit. Gotta be together. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, yeah. you gotta be put together. You going to school? You on a tip of Beverly Hills? Yeah. You on a tip? You on a yeah? For real? That's what I know about it. I was, I was gonna say pause, but I was like, nah, that would be inappropriate. Yeah. Oh man. And you if know. you didn't have it, you better have your bagging together. You better know how to bag. Oh man. I don't know what that means. I'm not from LA. I don't know. I don't understand the slang. What, 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 to bag. talk about people. Yeah. Back. Oh, in the middle, I used to call it Jonin. So Jonin. Yeah. Jonin. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. the old that's word the, and yeah, shit yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You might as well say, man, call me a jive turkey. Talk about some Jonin and shit. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm oh, saying? <laughs> the dozens. <laughs> what are some of the names of motherfuckers you to call them? No, I mean, the dozens to me is old. Like, my dad's generation is the dozens. Maybe it's just a Midwest shit. For us, it was Jonin. You know what I'm saying? Like Jonin. We still we still call oh, it Jonin in like the early 2000s, man. Uh-huh. What's some of, what's some of the other terms that they used to call that shit, man? With them, with them uh, slang terms. I don't, I don't know, remember. man. I'm too young. I I, I know some, but I, I, I it's like at the top of my tongue, but I can't. That just... guy, he knows. The new ones. What's the new one? What's, what's the, the new, new term? Gassing, packing. Uh, yeah, roasted. Roasted. I know, but roasting, roasted is old. But roasting is only for people you like. You shouldn't. You need... Nah, nah. Clowning. 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 Yeah. Oh, yeah. mama's. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I forgot. I didn't even be clowning. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to tell somebody I got clowned on. I wouldn't want to clown on somebody. That you know, would just be disgusting. You know what the word that that was in the bay that now you get fucking canceled for? What? Retarded. Oh yeah. Huh? You can't say retarded. I mean, it's frowned upon over here. But no, 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 no. That's what what clowning was in the Bay. They be like, "Oh man, that nigga retarded." That mean he's funny as fuck. Right. He he's retarded like me. Yeah, but retarded. that's not talking shit about people. Like it's not like insult comic shit. Well, be, I mean, everything is so sensitive nowadays. And yeah, shit everything like that. really is kind of sensitive. You know now. what I mean? But you know what? This is this is the thing. You know, when shit gets sensitive. That means some hard shit's getting ready to come around the corner. Mm. <laughs> Things are just gonna get real fucking difficult. And then what you're gonna get is, you know, then you're gonna get some tough people. They'll they'll come around, you know what I'm saying? We'll we'll destroy America before that happens, but you know, it's gonna happen. Wow. Trust me, you know, I don't know. My, hey, my I, generation gives zero fucks at hey, this point. We was in a spot, it was fucking females in the thing, man. You would have liked it, Barack. Um, what complexion? Everything. Okay. What, you know, there's you know there's a stereotype about that out of towners think that all those black brothers only like white women. We don't just we don't like white women. White women are what we like to call exotic. 
all dudes like exotic women. There's nothing wrong with liking exotic women. Or is there? <laughs> o- only woman sitting here. You just said white women are exotic. Hey, you see me? I just I, I kind of like <laughs> all I, I American. Just, I, <laughs> The all American became exotic. Exotic is on. Exotic is they're weird. They're different. Well, you, I'm gonna be real with you. White women are weird. They're different. <laughs> the, the Asian women are weird. The they're most different. the 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 most thing that I hate seeing as a black man is when I see a brother. You know what I'm saying? Look like man. You know what I'm saying? Look like he could get to man. Kind of put together with a fat white. A chick. fat white. Oh man, I be. She's paying like she went. No, she not. It's it something. Much, it, what is it then? It ain't enough. They do money what the in, fuck they're told. That was what my uncle told me. I, I asked him that that's question. That's not what it is. And he's like, they do what they're told. And that's my, not what it is. That was what I was told. Because if you got the power, if you got the power, you're an alpha male. It don't matter what color the woman is. She's going to follow We lived in Bremerton, suit. which is a trailer park, by the way. So there is no alphas there. It's a trailer truck, trailer park. <laughs> okay. So there, they do what they're told. Now, in Hollywood, where y'all are from, I don't know. Maybe you got to have money or a game and you can get better ones. You, but, you gotta have money. Yeah, see, yeah, see, I'm from a trailer park, so you know. Well, you gotta have money. You gotta have money in LA, period, to fuck with any female. Mm. You gotta have LA to fuck with yourself. <laughs> you gotta have money to fuck with yourself to be in LA. Hey, right, look, you ain't never hey, lied, there's a reason I'm not, I don't live in California now, because I, I ran out of money. I mean, there's certain parts, but LA, yeah, you definitely gotta have some Yeah, you have your bag, boy. You gotta have some conversation. Yeah, see. Woman can have a producer, rapper. Football player, actor. So, so let me ask you a question. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 <laughs> if, if I walk up to you, right, you know what I'm saying, and I tell you that I'm a, a music producer, I'm a hot producer, you know what I'm saying, is that enough to get me at least a date? Or With me? I... No. Why you got to be so mean? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Why are you trying to hurt my feelings? No, I'm so sorry. You I... should be. <laughs> well, I mean... <laughs> I'm appalled by this question here. <laughs> I can't. You, you, you wouldn't. You wouldn't get with a music producer. You wouldn't even have a first date. Just one date. It's interesting. Uh, it depends on what you're driving. Oh. I would have to see some type of uh, evidence that you have something that can reflect that you could be some type of executive. Because you could be executive in your home with two of your friends in your mom's garage. Okay, first of all, you're not supposed to have that much detail about how bad things can get for executives and small business owners. You're not supposed to know that shit, all right? I can just, hey. I, didn't, I didn't define what a hot producer was. I just said I was one. Right. So you have to pay the cost to be the boss. You've got to be able to have that. It, yeah. It factored. Yeah. That's Some it? women will find out and don't, they don't care. They'll look at you and be like, let's see. Let's find out mm. what I can get. I could just look at you and be like, you might have some money, but then again, you're boring. And <laughs> what can I possibly do? You know what I mean? I can run game and be yeah. like, I'm hungry. You feed me. I can see where you're, where, what you're making, and I can try to see if I can squeeze some money and out of you, if it's even worth it. I wanted to know. Is the conversation worth it for me to squeeze this money? Fuck no. Sometimes really? I might just pay you. Get the fuck on. Really? Yeah. You'd pay me? You give me money? I don't know. It depends. I I have to get people away if I have to. Yeah. Is that a game I could run on women? You know what I'm saying? To make them pay me to leave. It might work. You can you can <laughs> you can be the uh you can charge your services as the other man to make other man jealous. They have a category in porn for that. I don't know the name of it, but it's right on the like t- the IT guy. Ooh, IT guy porn. Yeah. Comes in like I can be a. <laughs> <laughs> Heard your Century Link was down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You'll walk up like, hey, I got your connection ready here. Yeah, Maybe you need my, my Wi Fi. Yeah. <laughs> I got some wires for you in my truck if you yeah. want. You need the code? <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, you know, I'm out, man. Shane, where's the lube? Oh, my God. God. Oh. Never mind. Mm. My last question. <laughs> Every time I ask, he never A has an answer or B tells me he doesn't have it. Oh, figure it out. What about yourself some shit? Oh, do you have some? Again, he doesn't say that he doesn't have any. Nick, I'm gonna... <laughs> hey, leave Barack alone, man. Tell him, you know what it is? He you supposed to tell him this is what you're supposed to do, man. You're supposed to just spit in your hand and say it's right there. That's just nasty. 
And inappropriate, by the way. Nah, it's, it's, we, we have a beautiful woman sitting right here, and you talk about spitting in your yeah, hand. Yeah, spitting your hand and be like, smack him across the face. Is that lubed enough for you? Yeah. It's disgusting. Might turn him on. Might? I don't know. Yeah. But nips he be pointing to the shirt. Absolutely. <laughs> Rubbing my nipples and all. <laughs> this guy's talking about WD 40 earlier. He said, make, make it work. What type of wild. What type of what type know. of engineering production team do you have here telling <laughs> telling the talent in front of a guest <laughs> to make it work with WD forty? You ain't never tried it. No. Um, I didn't hesitate because I had. I just never thought that a person would. What about saran wrap? You ever tried saran wrap? Girl nah. told you you ain't got no condom, you just go get some saran wrap. Damn. That's some desperate <laughs> shit, bro. I thought maybe that over the Zip pussy bag. Eat it, but you you How said, you gonna fuck somebody with wait a that? minute, why? Just put a rubber band around that motherfucker. So, wait a minute, do you just like. No, so but you that's got to be uncomfortable on a man's penis to have this. Yeah, rubber band. nah, I mean, I wouldn't. Well, I mean, the rubber band no, could technically not necessarily. Be. Oh, okay, I get it, because the cock ring is tight. Exactly. And that thing, uh, yeah. Uh, hey, my mom. You're kinky. Very much so. <laughs> <laughs> so this week on hey, episode one of our kinky on the spot sex podcast, uh, you know, oh, is this man. after dark? No, 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 no. This is I the mean. new podcast called Where's the Lube? Well, we back to this lube, man. <laughs> I kind of feel uncomfortable with all that because I am the only woman in here. Like, where's the lube? Like, seems like this is about to be like painful. <laughs> but all we say. A gay man has to be a strong motherfucker, boy. Ooh. You gotta yeah. be a strong motherfucker, man. You ever, mm. you ever just took a, just a mean shit and that motherfucker hurt your ass or ate some like chili or something? Yeah, but that don't mean nothing. They'll recover fast and ready to get that asshole blown. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You gotta be a strong motherfucker. That pussy wants That's just it again. A, it's, it's a wild thought. Nah, it ain't no thought. When you think about it, it's like, man, you feel me? Like, <laughs> you say, it ain't no it's thought. It's not a wild thought. When you think know. about it, like, no, it no. It's just, man, you feel no, me? No, like, I mean, you 110% correct. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you go to squabble, like, like, like for real, like, you really try to squabble a gay dude? Like, like what are you doing here? This no. guy takes fucking 10 inches in the ass. <laughs> what the fuck is you doing? What punch, what punch can you literally, can you give this guy <laughs> or any of that that's going to make him say, you know what? That hurts. Speaking of which, Ooh. I have had some friends who did go to the gay pride parade who did come back with stories involving fists. They don't really care about those sorts of things, actually, from what I hear. What, getting punched? Are oh, they like a fist in their ass? Okay. Somebody gets it. Okay, man. Yeah. Mr. Hamster? <laughs> no, 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 they're way past hamsters. So essentially what I'm saying to you is, you're right. They don't care. Um, and this is why I think it's important to have the LGBTQ community in the military because I think just, you forgot one of the letters like P what's the P like pansexual there's like four more now <laughs> what is pansexual pansexual isn't it keeps going what is pansexual oh yeah it keeps going explain to me what is pansexual since you want to point out well, so let's, everybody let's gotta go google pansexual. yeah listen, everybody gotta google no, it no 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 go to Pornhub and search pansexual like a normal I thought it's person. like you don't identify or some shit you don't you like what you like pansexual meaning is a romantic, emotional, and or sexual attraction to people regardless of their gender. Like everyone else, pansexual people may be attracted to some people and not others, but the gender of the person does not matter. People mm. of gender identity can do identity as pansexual. Do they Meaning, have any... if you're a transgender, and you like a, you know, you might like a girl. You like what you want. You like right. you like everything. You want to fuck a goat. You fuck a goat. So anyway, tell us more about the high schools that you went to. <laughs> <laughs> well, you started talking about lube, and you was like oh, telling our yo, engineer and sound man about getting some lube and D forty and shit. Throwing weird stuff at me. I said none of that. You were like even... sex playing the guy. What? Okay. Hey, hey. <laughs> I just thought you just needed something for your hair. Oh. No, that's just cruel. No, nah, I'm saying. Why I would think, you even swipe? Why would you? It looks lovely. It looks Thank luxurious. You. That's what I'm saying. It's like, 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 like you know, activator. You know, it hurts my feelings when people say stuff about my hair like that. Like I need. No, he mean? came like here I, shiny. He was it was ready. shiny. Yeah, see. You know what I'm well, saying? Well, let your soul glow, then. Shit. <laughs> you know what? 
Maybe, <laughs> maybe later. You know what it is? Maybe I, later. I'm jealous. You know, I had a curl for many years. So when I look at your hey, golden, man. luxurious burls, trust me when I tell you, as I used to call <laughs> the them burls. when I was younger, hey, look. all the burls. <laughs> then I'm just, I'm jealous. None of it is as cool as it seems. You know, I, mm. maybe you understand what I you mean. You just wake up like this, huh? Well, no, you got to like spend ten minutes in whatever. It's cold outside. I can't put nothing on my hat, and my hair. Yeah, you got to wait till you kind of gets a little dry before you yeah. go outside because that cold you can't, like, you catch a cold. You can't yeah. like yeah. sleep and shit like that. I'm like, yeah. you know, I can't wait to get a haircut. You know what I'm saying? I look mm. real Indian then, bro. Now yeah. you know what you should do. Like, just let it grow. Yeah, and then get that shit, man. Flat iron. I have a question. Why is all of this shaved and only this here is left? Like a booty butt. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey. Is that too much? I'm sorry. No, no. I you, just noticed that. It's like no, all no, the hair is no, no. gone. You but right here. Butt. You, you're getting Shane's revenge. Just, this is his favorite part. Um, Fucking booty butt. I want to rock right now. Sorry. No, <laughs> on the really, the, 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 there is a real reason. Is because this is like the most sensitive part of my face. Okay. Break out. N- it it's just her. It hurts more. That's all. That's all. Really, but you got like perfect. Like it's got an arrow. Like is that like a symbol? Like is that something like letting people know? Like hey, you know what it is. Only few only know. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's called good. being lazy. No. Yeah. Can't no. be. No. no. I'm not, I don't believe that. Some, that's something else. Booty some butt, people. Booty <laughs> butt cheeks. Booty <laughs> butt. Booty <laughs> butt. Is that to tickle the some... butthole when you're down there? Just what are you doing? What is, what is it? It's something. It's simple. We're going to talk to some women females and find out actually. That might be like a focus group thing. Like we might have to do a survey. I'm you know not licking no ass. <laughs> it's right there. How do you not? Never mind. He doesn't eat pussy apparently. I've watched really? and heard some of his stuff. He sounds like he doesn't eat pussy. I've gotten that vibe. Is it my wrong? What? Okay, never mind. No, nah, I don't. Everybody looks see. shocked and appalled. Wait, in here. I'm like, I don't know. I didn't know that. I, <laughs> I, I just assumed. Uh, all niggas lie about not eating pussy. No, wait, I'm, I'm a grown ass man. I don't have a problem licking pussy, but I just don't eat pussy. Eating pussy <laughs> is the best part of the fucking meal. It's the best part of waking up, man. Like, you know. It might be, you know, some women are not every always into it. I'm not. I'm not like, into that. Yeah, I don't like. Don't like that. Yeah. So I might like, be into giving head you know more what? than me receiving it. See, I'm going to keep it. why I fuck with white women. Because <laughs> you get to lick the pussy. Because you like to eat the pussy? <laughs> you got to get harder to lick the puss. Oh, you want to lick the ass. You want to go... <laughs> Blow spit bubbles in that motherfucker, yeah, huh? you just... Love in the that. asshole. Loop it up, huh? You love lube. <laughs> Hopefully you guys can get a sponsorship for lube. Yeah, you know, <laughs> man, hey, for real. All I want to say is anybody who knows a good lubrication a or a new lube, I'm sorry, I, I've walked myself into a, a corner I can't get out of now. Um, <laughs> everyone thinks I have an obsession with lube that I don't have, and I was, it is, it is karmatic. That's not a, that's not a word, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with that. It is, it's karmatic. <laughs> It is karmatic. Um, like you need lube essential. in front of you. I've got my little sponsorship. I mean, yeah, you, you need to get I some mean, lube. to be totally honest, it works. It's on brand. What? Lube? Lube, weed, and Remy. Yeah. It do make a lot of sense. Yeah. All we got to do is convince Remy, and then, you know, then, then lube will come, and weed's just weed. So, you know. Never... Maybe Remy would love to, like, send some of their product if you would definitely advertise and promote. I think they would love hey, that. Hey, look, I will have the Marketing just give out. They'll, they'll reach out and give you stuff. That motherfucker be sitting here Remy. with the lube. You it's, a tax, the oh, sure. it's a tax write-off, actually. Yeah. So you I, take I the rim sure. bottle and put the lube on your hand and say, hey, yeah, look what it does. That part. You get drunk and lube it up. <laughs> hey, look. Again, all the in wildest the booty. parties. <laughs> booty, 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 booty rocking everywhere. We will have to air the room out. Because I'm looking at the chin, but I just see the little inlet of some cheeks. Right. Basically, you will never, you will never unsee this shit I swear ever to God, again. I'm not, man, too big. My bad. The thing is, it's like I hadn't even thought about it until you said something. Booty like, chin. <laughs> yeah, it's like the print symbol at the bottom. <laughs> Yeah. Did the you artist. say the prince? Yeah. <laughs> hey, look. The artist formerly known as. <laughs> Not the prince yes. symbol. Do it again. Let him see no. that arrow. Like he got the guitar symbol. Yeah. <laughs> this you know shit what? That is burning and over here burning sensation. Yeah, hey, I, I was about to say, I'm, I thought I'm like, man, either this is the Remy or I'm hot. No, it's the No, no, no. It's <laughs> this guy not giving up the lube stash. Um no. See, I am taking me, the it, fact that you find him quite intriguing. I keep telling you, man. He kept lying about the lube all day. You know what I'm saying? 
I asked him you one simple what? question, and all he had to do was <laughs> give me one simple <laughs> answer. And instead of doing it, he just kept egging it on and egging it on and egging it on. And I'm just sitting back bro, like, you, bro. Hey, hey, produce. That's what you do. <laughs> <laughs> produce. Why are you sitting there? Man? The like, producer's going to say, fuck this Jesus. show and, 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 and take this nigga's booty chin. <laughs> Booty chin. I'm going to be weird Coming on my own chin. Gonna, and I have a feeling you probably enjoy it. So, yeah. So, what other questions do you have for me? I'm going to keep it all the way one thou. I, I, I kind of, like, lost everything after that one. Um, Booty chin? No. Because, again, we were supposed to be trying to, like, do a, a professional interview. Oh, okay. I'm we so sorry. We had subjects that we were going to discuss, oh. real oh. things. We were going to talk about Israel. Okay. We were going to talk about Joe Biden. Okay. We were going to talk about... Quick, hey, well, let's, what, talk what about, let's talk let's about Let's talk it. about Joe let's Biden. Talk about let's it. talk about Donald Trump and his new shoes. I'm yeah. up with all of that. We, well, yes, yeah. yes. Donald Trump and his new shoes. Yeah. Are they in your size? Do you want them? Will you wear them in public? I would. Really? Yeah. Why? I'm a comedian. It's a controversial thing. It's like, you know, it starts oh, a conversation. Yeah. It gives you, you know, like, you know, um, you know, what does it okay. mean? Will I wear a make Will you like, America great again hat? No, I'm not gonna go buy it. But the shoes kind of looked a little funky. They're ugly as shit. But why were they all gold? I would never buy. I don't know. But you niggas, that was yeah, the most you niggas, niggas like that flat shit. Shit. You motherfuckers is walking around in space boots that I used to see on Astro boots. Oh, yeah, I used to see on red, TV. Them red. Th- hey, you niggas is weirdos. Ronald McDonald's fucking shoes. clowns. <laughs> Yo, look. Yeah. I can't wait to catch one of y'all in the club with all your jewelry on in them fucking space boots. I'm going to snatch your jewelry your <laughs> and just Run. hold it in yeah. front of you. <laughs> Run. Hey, look, bro. I'm telling you now, bro. That's, 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 like that's they new generation. The they do that Those thing. space boots. Who in the fuck? Bro. Who? In my generation, we wore Vans. You know what I'm saying? We was popping off. You was a jerker? You was a jerker? Anyway. Or you a crump dancer? Excuse me. That's Neither. Right. Oh. I'm not gonna first of all, I'm not gonna tell people I was a jerker on camera. That's just fucking wild. Nah, I wanna know, man. Second of all <laughs> Second of all, crumping, no, that was just too fucking painful. And third of all, <laughs> you know, yeah, but of the era, we was wearing vans, we was doing the hoodies or whatever I'm saying. Like, plus, you know, I was How tight was your pants? You got your vans on and they look like sneakers. Oh, so you're very young. You're like a hot 22, 24, huh? I'm 34 now. Oh, get the <laughs> fuck out of here. I know. It's like Vans in a hoodie. Vans been, Vans no, been around forever, right, baby. Right, but I'm talking like 06, 07, 08. Man, Vans was popping. The pack was out. We was doing our thing. Yeah, he's, oh, a, he's a jerker. That's exactly. what I'm saying. That's yeah, what I keep like saying. Pack, you're a jerker. Yeah. Yeah, you know, plus I was, plus when I left left the Midwest, where was I? You're San a jerk. Francisco. Can you do the jerk right now on camera. No, I'm not not physically capable of doing that. Yeah. Again, I'm 34. You a jerk. You a jerk. Huh? Some people will call me that, yes. But again, physically, not capable of doing okay. that. Okay, okay. My knees just won't keep up. I believe you. Please don't believe me. You got to put that lube on there. <laughs> that was a movie Lube it up. Shit. Yo, what is, what is the word he said? Chromacity? Chromatic? He won't talk to me now. He's angry. I understand. He has a job to do. Crampetinian? <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, no, no, really. I'm, I'm, you know, I, I've hit the point in the last couple of years where I'm realizing I'm old now. Mm-hmm. I don't like that shit, to be totally honest. I miss being young, dumb, you know, just making bad decisions. You still have time to still be young and dumb. Really? Do yeah, I? Yeah. Can I make the worst decisions possible and yeah, still get like away with it? Yeah, you're like 34, bro. Can I <laughs> own a club and like my friends come to the club and get high and then one of them dies and still have a career afterwards? I don't know. Are you like a super techie or something? No, but you I will look be. like one. Oh, come on. Don't do you that. Legal. Don't do that. But you do. You look like you're like really fucking <laughs> you good at this. you it all the time. I am like, not. Hey, I swear to God. Yeah, I don't. Relax, I man. shit. <laughs> Fucking yeah. relax. <laughs> shit. Oh, you falling over and shit. Smoking oh. out of tweed. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Why'd you both do it at the same time? Uh, oh, man. see. Because I'm guilty. You guys smoked before our very important professional interview. No, nah, no, we, we didn't. were just we were just talking about Donald no, Trump's shoes. Man, you see my product? I haven't even got a chance to enjoy yeah, it. Yeah, you see this. Yeah, What's that? Like, that's that ooh wee. Ooh wee. Huh? Like, let me tell you something. You guys got really got great cannabis out here. Like. I can't lie. Seattle, you guys are like really that's some good weed. And this brand, this this weed, they're 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 the fire. They got the best. 
Yeah. If you ain't smoking fire, you ain't smoking a weed. So what you're saying is, is I should stop smoking this bammer weed I got in my backpack. Get rid of it. Demolish it. I will demolish it. Yes. We will all demolish it. Throw it down it the toilet. Well, well, Nobody well. wants to smoke that shit. It's terrible. I, I ain't gonna lie, man. I fuck with their truffle. I fuck with oh, their yeah. truffle butter. I, I, I'm very familiar with the brand and everything. Yeah, yo, this pink yeah. Zaza is, is interesting. Pink Zaza is nice. Pink Zaza is nice. Yeah, it's like 23.57% uh, TAC level. Oh, Did you really nice. remember those numbers before we talked? Bro, I fuck with the product. Bro, I'm, I'm <laughs> keeping it. 83%, 0.6. Mm. Yeah, and this one over here. Ooh. See, it's perfect for the environment where you can't smoke inside. Uh, where you is. can't smoke inside. Mm. Yeah, well, you can go get next door and get saved, though. That part. Oh, there's Jesus Freaks bat- next there? Next door? Uh, Whatever you want to call them. They'll I don't baptize know. baptize you. I, I'm not interested in nobody trying to baptize me at all. You know what I'm saying? You can get swallowed. 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 <laughs> and been swallowed. Oh, God. I love how you oh. tilt that head neck back. Like that, oh, and then yeah. you know, like. Swallowed. <laughs> Yeah, man. You know, I feel bad for him because I'm sitting back like, what? at some point, somebody had to ask the real question. Just like, nigga, why are you at these motherfucking parties? Why are you there? Because they're to save souls. By swallowing them? <laughs> Jesus told him Allegedly. to go be the shepherd and go get the last sheep. On the real. The lost sheep that, that wandered away. I be telling females, <laughs> Jesus told me to talk to you. <laughs> see, does that shit work, man? Like, yes. See, here's the thing. See, you can get that off because you look like a preacher. A- 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 according to our, 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 our illustrious guest here, I look like a techie or some wild shit. Nah, well, booty, that's good. Booty, you got money. Booty chain. You can look like you. Yeah, booty chain too. You know, booty, 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 rocking everywhere. But I was just saying, techie's good because that means you have money. Yes, that's exactly what that means. You look like you have some money, you know, the way you dress. Like, oh, he's not dressed. All right. He's got money. You know, usually the millionaires dress like that. They don't, you. They don't, you know. You know, I'm glad that someone finally recognized that Absolutely. I dress like a millionaire. They do. Like a white millionaire. Not not like a black millionaire. No. Like a white one. Like, a, yeah. Like, like you have like no really money to, one. no one to send your money to. You just like sit a on Sam it. Bankman Freed white mm-hmm. guy millionaire. He, he dressed like shit. Do you, uh, like, spend money on Pornhub? Not anymore. I only did that during the pandemic. I could, Why it was free during the pandemic for all of us? No, I, I paid. <laughs> <laughs> kind of membership you, you should got. have logged out and logged back in. <laughs> I did. Trust me, I did. Look, look, look. You got to understand. The pandemic is not a time where like I can like give you logical answers to anything that I actually did. I just did things. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like I was already on unemployment, and then they gave us more unemployment on top of the unemployment I was already getting. So I was just like, oh, damn. What Did is you this save old? that money at least? I invested it actually. Smart. And Into what? Into Pornhub? No, Apple. So okay, how many stocks? Uh, I got it right before the split, so I ended up with like eight. Okay. And then I got fucked over later on by the state and then, you know, sold it all later on, made a bunch of money before mm. I sold it. And I still have some. I still, you know, I put some money into some, uh, you know, into some other tech shit. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I own some money in some, uh, you that's know. Smart. So to, a, to one of these AI companies or whatever that's going to take some people's jobs. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't care about people because I'm into technology. <clears throat> well, you know, the best, the best, um, you're a techie. the Stop best investment me. right now <laughs> is uh, that Nova. N O V O. Nova, you're not familiar with it? Man, they don't want to make that diabetic pen. Oh. Oh. So is it? So the IPO good stuff? for it is, yeah. It's, it's at a hundred dollars right now. So imagine if you would have jumped on when it was at twenty. Damn. All them look, they 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 talking about the shortage of them and shit like that. So they're selling like fucking crazy. Do you think they will go up even more? Oh, of course. Yeah. So do you, you think it's a good time to buy now or kind of yeah. wait? Yeah. You, you You're already at $100. I mean, yeah, it was at 20 a, Only $100? I know. It's like, that's kind of like. It's like, just now hitting the news that people are starting to find out about it. Only people once, that knew about it was like the actors and like people who had money. That yeah. It was taking them. So now that there's a shortage, of course, the pharmacy company is going to make it a shortage. It becomes a supply and demand. Okay. So man, that oh oh I man it was o, 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 Ozempic Ozempic it's yeah, owned by that? Nova man on, on when you go to look it up on the stock exchange it's Nova N O V O. Oh okay I got okay. you I got you I got you yeah no I'm saying I should yeah. probably start trying to take some of that shit you know what I'm saying so I can lose my beer belly and then still drink the beer belly 
the beard down the way. I, I try not to tell people about that, but you know, it's there. I'm on camera. They can see it. I know it's fine. But you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna work out because this is America and I don't believe that I should have to work for things. Back to the weed. Anyway. Yeah. So Back to the um weed. Hey, how y'all yeah. feel about these immigrants and shit like that, man, and everything that they getting since Didn't we don't you talk just politics. Say back to the weed? Fuck yeah, that, that the shit. Weed. I think it's some bullshit. It's fucked up because us Americans don't get any help here. It's America. We pay all this money, all these taxes, and they're just giving away twenty five hundred dollars per person a month. You mean two hundred and fifty or no twenty five hundred? Because you get living what that pays for your living on it. What state? What state? Yeah. I, I'm I'm not an immigrant. I couldn't tell you where they're coming at, but I mean, I'm here. They're like here, okay. New mm-hmm. York. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, right. correct me if I'm wrong. Mm-hmm. Oh no! See, here's the problem. I'm a pol- I'm a politics guy, right? Okay. So, here's what's gonna happen. Mm. I'm gonna let you guys talk. All right. I'm gonna let you. There, there's a hole, right? I'm gonna give you guys a shovel. Let you dig. Let, let me dig. Let dig. me dig. Mm-hmm. And then I'm gonna take all of that dirt, right? That's outside that hole. And then I'm going to throw it at you for like five or ten minutes. Uh-oh. And then after I do all of that, he's going to be something. He's going to be like, nigga, shut the fuck up or something like that or whatever. And then like you'll talk about my butt chin and then he'll make a <laughs> lube joke. And I'll look like an idiot. And But for five good minutes of mud slinging for me, it'll be like, no one will ever hear this. But like I just spoke so much shit. And, uh, again, back to you guys. Go do, do it. Do it. Do you think? Do you think? Do you think? Hey, right, we print money. What does it fucking matter? We're I mean, already in debt. You're not supposed you, to make the you. You guys supposed to let me say that. Damn. I mean, bro, of course you, we print you money. Were stealing my. Fucking I mean, shine. but we are. We, I mean, yeah, we're tremendously in debt. Oh, but God, I mean, yes. you're bringing these people over here, and it's a lot. It's a lot. It's creating traffic. I still, to be totally <laughs> honest, have no clue what the fuck you guys are talking about. Immigrants coming over here. And where did the money come from? Where does this... Like, we're talking about the war. We're talking about a lot of the Israels. They just went over there and just took, started taking, like, fucking land from the Palestinians. Like, they just yeah. did some shit like Americans yeah. did. Like, yeah. <laughs> get out. Yeah. Like, that's kind of yeah. fucking crazy. And we sit back and watch it. Like, wow. How do you think I feel as a voter? I voted for this shit. I'm sitting back like, damn. I voted for the literal genocide of an entire people and didn't even realize it. You realize it? Well, yeah, but you like, do. you know. Wait, what? You voted? Wait, what? 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 I know, right? No, I mean, I vote too, but damn, it has me wondering. Like, damn, did I you vote for, for that shit? Trump, uh. Trump would have done the exact same thing. He said so, so it's like it doesn't really yeah, matter. It doesn't matter. But like, therein lies the whole point, though. It's like, it's kind of like this. Would but you? These are rather... not the real. Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. no. They're not yeah. the real. No, it's it's where. This is bullshit. It's kind of like this, right? Would you rather, okay, I walk up to you and punch you in the face, take the money out of your pocket, and just walk off, or would you rather I walk up to you, do a little reach around action, and take the money out without you noticing? No. Okay. Punch me. That was your best metaphor? Trump? Or Biden. It's the same fucking thing. So you know what's a better metaphor? Would you rather be a person that rapes once a month or a person that rapes once a year? Damn. That's... Better metaphor. No, it's that's infinitely worse. That's being raped. Well, it's, just, times it's the truth. To rape once. is to rape and pillage. But I mean, the deal is we're, we're putting all this on, on these men when really they're just serving four years of a term and only doing what they're supposed to be doing because there's the legislators. Well, I don't I don't blame Congress. I don't blame no president. I don't blame no president. Nothing like that, man. I blame Americans. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, we voted for it. We, well, we it doesn't matter vote what we vote. You no matter what you vote for. And they already got shit in place. Yeah, it's already it's a plan 30 years ahead. Yeah. Yeah. They they've been watched us and studied us colored folks and already been they already ahead of us. We just now like oh what they like yeah okay. I mean it's what's crazy to me is people are just now finding about Israel and Palestine like that shit's been going on since Biblical. the forties. Yeah, well that 40s. yeah the forties as far as that. You know but, what I'm saying when Britain and France yeah. gave that to them and then they they went and the Israel man the Israeli people made fun of the Palestinians because they just left. Cause they had never seen such a warmonger of people, so they just left, and then they end up. Cause that's how they got it. Let, let's keep it real. At the same time, 
They have built themselves up to be such a power that nobody speaks about it. Everybody's terrified. Everybody's scared. Yeah. You know, I mean, I think, unfortunately... Everybody's scared of what? These, these false prophets? Well, these fake people? Well, here's the thing, though. This is the thing they're that I've definitely noticed. not... The real Israelites, they're not really Hebrewites, they're not really real this Jews. Is the fucked up thing, though. This is the thing that I've noticed that I think is actually. Well, you got to understand, it, all this stuff really goes back to the 12 tribes, you know, of, of Father Abraham and, you know, understanding of all that, of, of the tribes of, of, the, of everyone. So, um, I, I'm not going to say because they're, they're a different color that they can't be the people, um, you know, because they just lack melon. In their skin, they're just melon deficiency. They don't have the melon like you and I would have. You know, our skin doesn't burn as faster than they do. They can, can't can take certain things because they lack certain deficiencies. They couldn't help that. Like, we can't help who we are. You know what I mean? But um, <clears throat> I just feel like uh, if they talk so much about people of color and hate, you know, the Palestinians, you know, the Muslims, and, and even you got Christians, Palestinians over there as well. It's just the fact that um, this it's, it's, it's goes back even more, you know what I mean? But the deal is, if you talk about Jesus and you describe this man or you describe all these different great people that you want to worship and believe that this person was someone, I mean, you, you, you they don't even like the person's color. You know what I'm saying? If Jesus' color was brown. If 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 he really was Jesus and walked this earth, there was a Jesus. You know what I mean? Um, they talk about the man's color or just the original people of of the sun. So I don't know. I just uh, so so you believe you think Lil Ray Ray from South Side of Chicago is really a fucking Hebrew or like? Oh, uh, not all niggas. Yeah, thank you, man. <laughs> <laughs> are kings. <laughs> I'm, 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 not all <laughs> black men and black women are kings and queens. Some are peasants. Hey, did y'all see that? Hey, did Most you, I know you might not have heard about it. You might have heard about it. You see the 12 and the 13-year-old that took the police on a high-speed chase and had burners on them and shit like that? Out here in fucking Seattle? Wow. Nah. Little motherfucker. Black? I mean, I don't know what they are to the kids. No, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But mm. the mother did seem to be of ethnic... Uh, uh, Background. Uh, she, uh, she was of color. Of color. Uh, what, what's, the, what's the... Ebony. <laughs> ebony. <laughs> With the old word. Ebony. She's a little darker around the edges. Ebony means she's black. So on point of <laughs> these little motherfuckers carjacked 12 and 13. Both got burners on them. Take the police on a high-speed chase. They go to court yesterday. The mother says, oh, I think I can control them. So the 13-year-old stays, but the 12-year-old gets to go home under anchor monitor. Yeah, I can't make this up. And I'm sitting back wondering, you, you know what I'm thinking? And you might not have heard about it, but you'll hear about it later in, in time. Where the fuck is Judge Dorn at? Cool. It's a LA thing. Everybody that's from LA know about Judge Dorn. Judge Dorn didn't play. You walked in his courtroom, you was going to jail. <laughs> you know, out in LA, you know certain judges. Like, who's your judge? Like, oh man, you <laughs> Hey, you heard that oh, name? Hey, who you want to see? Oh, I gotta go see Judge Dorn. Oh, you going. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to November. <laughs> Don't worry. He, he was a type. If you missed a day of school, that was a day in jail. Wow. You get in trouble. In, so Deep, tw imagine, 12, 13, bro. One gets to go home on an ankle monitor. You carjacked somebody who had a gun, and you took the police on a high-speed chase where you could have actually killed somebody. Could have killed somebody. They're 12 and 13. How the hell do they know how to drive? Racing sims. Video games. And in fact, when I was driving at 12, 13, I was out of, in and out of G-Ride, so I can't say that, but... I wasn't carjacking at no 12 and no 13. I'm the 12 year old gets to stay. That's no 13 year old get, had, gets to stay. The 12 year old went home on a fucking ankle monitor. Talking right. about, oh, the older brother influences the younger. I'm like, it ain't that much of a hella influence nowhere year in the apart. world. If that, nine months? <laughs> Nine months apart. The mom is in there. I think I can handle them. Like, hey, can I be but sober you, with you? If you could have handled them, you'd have handled them before this. I'm surprised they let her do that. Hey, I wish I can. I wish. Mm -hmm. 
I could be the one to take my belt off and beat the fuck out these little motherfuckers for making our race look bad, for damn it, because I'm raising a son. My son, 10. Mm-hmm. So imagine, imagine that. You imagine you riding in your car and a 12 and 13 year old drop a burner on you talking about get out your car. You sparing it because it's a kid. I'm not sparing. I'm, I'm dumping. I'm going oh, okay. to dump him out. I'm going to dump that little motherfucker out. Damn. I don't give a fuck. And I'm going to stand in court and tell him, yeah, I did that, Your Honor. Yes. I was scared for my life. I dumped his little motherfucking ass out in good riddance. Yeah. Yeah. Because he was going to do me. You 12 and 13, you carjacking with a burner. The kids, you got a burner at 12 and 13. Like, I get it. Mm. We, like, I see, and this, this is why I'm like, I grew up in L.A., so I understand the gun at the 12 and 13, but guess what we had to do? We had to go ask our big homies for it. Uh, yeah. And he would, he'd be like, why? And you had to tell him the story. Yeah. And it was upon his approval on if it was, all right, little nigga, or if it was, all right, yeah, man, I ain't fucking with y'all, man. Get up out of here. Mm. Y'all tripping. Yeah. That's yeah. deep though. 12 or 13. Imagine riding your car, 12 or 13, one up, nigga. Get out the car. They both should have stayed in jail because that's going to do something to the other kid feeling some type of way that the one gets to go. It's favoritism. Because that mean, other one gets to take more of the heat because he's locked up. I mean, it's kind of one of those rare occasions where on some serious shit, I don't really have anything to say in response to that. A, I don't have kids. B, either. this particular generation of young people, I don't really understand what I'm seeing. They should have locked the mom up. My, my, I mean, the mom should have gone too. I'm, mom I'm a, to mom should have went mom, too. You're being held accountable. You ain't got one yeah. son. You got two sons. And it's just like, yo, and mom, how did your kids get a hold of the guns? Right. Whose guns are these? Who, guess who called the police? Who? The moms. Mom that, said, there's some kids out here with a burner. Didn't even say it was her kids. That means she knew it was her kids. She knew, no. She knew her kids had some burners, but she called the police talking about it's some kids with a burner, with a gun that's out of here. Here's the thing. She's somewhere calling the police. So she already knew she was You had no control. You got no control of your kids. You know, the cops could have popped her kids. I was just about to say your kids. Just because they had guns, those kids could have got popped. Don't see this the fuck your part. They get killed, and then you 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 bitch ass niggas want to march for their little fucking faggot asses. (laughs) Yeah. That's that's where the fuck the part come in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Where it's like, uh, what? The little motherfuckers had a gun. Well, yeah, but the police shot him with a He deserved I would have shot him. What the fuck you mean? For sure. Unfortunately, now with kids nowadays, like you really you you unfortunately you can't take those chances. At all. Well, see, most of the time, if you go to the majority of these cities, the killers are the kids. You go to DC, yes. you go to Atlanta, you go to New York, it's the Girl, kids. Chicago. Chicago. Nigga, it's the kids. You ain't worried, because I was a kid. You give me a gun, nigga, I'ma shoot. Yeah. I can't bring the I can't bring the gun back with the same amount of bullets. I done lied to the big homie and told him I needed the burner. Dang. And then what do you So have? I can't bring back the same amount of bullets. Mm. So I gotta do something with this motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, damn. So I'm gonna do what I do, and without no occurrence to what the fuck oh, somebody's mama, somebody kid, because I'm a kid. Yeah, they think they're gonna get out at 18, but I'm not. No, he oh. don't need to get. They need to get out when they're 21. Oh, <laughs> oh shit! Sorry. They need to, they need yeah, to get. They like, need to get juvenile life. But that's the thing. It's yeah. just like if you're a kid and you think you're gonna get out at 18, or even if even if you think you're gonna get out at 21. Oh, I'm 13. I'll get out at 21. Man, you know what? I'm gonna be so real with you. I go a step ahead. And you know they, you know they close all the juvenile hall facilities in LA. No. Yeah, man, they close all the fucking juvenile. Too many hall. cases they had against them. Man, no, they just. I, I, you know what I think? Let me be real with you. I think that when people said to defund the police, the police said, "Okay, have at it. Have at it. Yeah, we're gonna let them beg us to come back. Have at it." So motherfuckers have lost their rabbit ass mind. You also had PPP, right? The problem with PPP was niggas who could never afford to even have a gun have a gun now. <laughs> he said it couldn't afford that. It, it's gun. real talk. It was grown ass. It's grown ass niggas walking around. Get let good. me borrow that burner. Damn. You got to think about that. It's, bo- it's grown ass man that was. Hey, let me borrow the burner. Nigga, yeah. you ain't got a gun. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It gave motherfuckers access a chance to have money to buy a gun. The wrong motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. So they got a chance to taste. Of course, the PPP loan drink of the fucking year, Casa Azul, everybody was hitting the bottle. I was hitting the bell. Bee! Yeah. Said, so you niggas don't even know what the fuck y'all drinking. You can be hot pissed, but you know, what's the most expensive tequila? 
Oh, this Casa Azul. Oh, yeah, I seen everybody with a blue and white bottle. Nigga look like they made it in Tijuana or something like that. Shit. Might be trying to tell the you bail. Like, hey, Damn. Just and because shit. it's expensive doesn't mean it's good. Man, listen. Yeah. Every, the motherfuckers got a taste of that. Niggas who ain't never had $1,000 to their name got a taste of that. <laughs> and I bought all the crabs in the sea. <laughs> <laughs> Holy all shit. All the lobsters. All, all, yeah. the, all, the, all the gold chains was bought up at the Slauson. Everything, yeah. You couldn't buy nothing. <laughs> and then, man. Man. Man, man. Niggas man. is broke now. Oh, like uh, I said, though. Broke. That, hey, that, that, broke A. That pandemic. Broke. Yo, some of us was getting their unemployment extra money. Some people was getting that PPP yeah, money. Yeah, what did you do with it? Where are you at? You know, with your hey, they didn't let you do nothing with it. If you notice, the motherfuckers who did come up, they're going to the pen now. They are, you know. I know, my, man, I, allegedly, mm. I know a guy that know a guy that had <laughs> got some PPP loan money, and he, like, really did right by it. Like, blew it up, turned it into a couple of million. I mean, white folks came and took him. Yeah, because you made money you weren't supposed to. We wanted you to blow it off. Buy what? you some fried chicken. Yeah, we wanted you to. Do all what you you're want. supposed to. Get high. Kill yourself. Stay at a level, not go up. Right, what? If you went up, that means that you didn't have the capital. To I gotta be the only dumb nigga that didn't take the money. You gotta be the only you smart the one who's not. I didn't take it either. I ain't take that shit. Nah, man, I didn't take I had a business should've. and didn't. Just yeah, you know what I'm saying? Mean? I had businesses and, and, and I was like, man, I'm, like not I didn't have any payroll. I'm not even taking this I'm not even doing bad. So what the fuck am I gonna take yeah. this money for? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't really. But you know, yeah, here's the thing, true. you know, you don't understand, like, just like with the shoes, everybody knows that when you put the line out there, somebody's gonna bite. Mm -hmm. And usually it's gonna be somebody who's poor. And it doesn't, it's not an offense on them. Some people who are, who don't have access to money, mm -hmm. don't have access to information, right. so they think, oh, it's lick. And then the reality is, is that like you know, they just want to get you out of the way. That's and all you, it really is. You know what's funny though? If Trump make a belt to match, I'll go get some of them motherfuckers. See, that's. Do you know how much some shoes cost? About four hundred dollars. Yes, but right now they're trending at like at least five thousand on eBay. If Trump make a belt to match them shoes, She's so pretty young lady. I'm going to get me some, hmm. cause any shoes that I get, always gotta have a belt to match. Okay, so here's my next question: Being that the shoes are essentially gold, with the American flag around that motherfucker. What is that shit called? That is what, is, what is this shoe called? <sighs> <laughs> Niggas stompers, nah. Yeah. So if the gold, so when you get it, if the gold is, if the belt is gold or red, how would you style shoes it? Shoes are never surrender. I style it, man. I style it with some blue jeans. I have on some blue jeans with the gold shoes, with the gold belt. Make sure it's a flag. Oh, hell no. Nah. With the man, oh with the God. shirt, with the Versace emblem on the fucking shirt. The man, it'd be the same gold. It's about the same gold contrast with my Make American Great hat on, because you know I got one. I think he's really trying to target the younger, the younger people, the younger colored I people. I mean, you heard you heard what they said on Fox, though. It's just like, oh yeah. I mean, here's my thing, Mo. When I heard that, my th first thought was is most niggas didn't have a good enough reason to vote for him to begin with. So of course they're gonna play in your face. It was like, yeah, they know you don't. They, they, they know they know niggas don't know no better. So okay, they niggas believe. was already voting for Trump. You gotta remember, niggas make money. If they vote, a lot of people, a lot white of black folks, folks was, was voting for man. It's gonna be some man. Y'all forget. It's gonna be some cor It's gonna be some hey. Corvettes on Sundays. It don't matter. I'm, hey, yeah. they about to trade in their New Balances in for them goddamn this, gold shoes with that hat on, part where the mud with some comes coffee out in their hand, and I start wiping down it. that Corvette. Because <laughs> at the end of the day, the problem that I've always had with this shit is that look, I don't care if you disagree on like. The approach for government or approach mm -hmm. for policy. My issue is always like he did a bad job when he had the job and his Who did? Trump. And when he had How? and when his own his own cabinet, National Security Advisors, Chiefs of Staff said he's not good for the country. When the people you work with Come out and say, "Oh no, 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 no! He's not good. Don't, 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 don't fuck with him." None of the staff was good. Did you? The, but that's not the point. The staff that uh, was uh, good. General, uh, the, Mad Dog Mad Dog Mad Dog. 
also said this nigga's no good. But but here. So the reality is is that if this person's running for office, has no actual policy ideas, never really authored any policy from that particular administration, his own administration, his own people who were working with keep getting indicted. And the so, people who uh, so are administration Biden. who? What's what? we'll hear about it soon. Who? We'll hey, hear about hey, it. But hey. that's my point. Jeffrey if, Epstein. The fact the <laughs> fact that, that people do that though. Now I'm not even calling out what it was, but what I'm saying is that the amount of black people who do the oh well, Biden did it too, and then you ask them what are you talking about and they don't have an answer. Oh when what people, Biden did? Yeah, I'm not saying he didn't do anything, but okay. the whole point is is that like, yo. Have an educated, if you want to have a conversation about things that's important, be educated on the information. And a lot of people, a lot of people having the conversation don't know what it means to inherit a good economy or a bad economy. They don't understand how long it takes for money when things get passed to actually reach you. Right. They don't understand that the president runs the federal government, not your local shit. Right. And so when they get into these conversations and you start asking real questions, they don't have any Ammo. I and got this ammo is the for part you. when he goes, nigga, shut the fuck up. Hey, I, I, hey, I got ammo for you. I'm older than you. Now it's not ammo. Now nah, I'm gonna tell you why. I'm older Biden's than you. Biden's not for us. I, never remember, was for I remember the NAFTA bill. I remember the 1990 crime bill that Biden yes, pushed. But we yes. know I, that. We but know Kamala that. Is, also pushed some shit three even in the sky and his I and grew this. up in a, yes. so and I know all he's that. with the prosecutor. We right. know that black people think this already. But when we what start they, talking about now, the shit that matters right now, not NAFTA, not the three strikes bill, not the crime bill, not the late 80s, not the early 90s, right now, there still is no answer. So are we pushing Ronald Reagan's agenda? Ronald Reagan's agenda has been pushed from Reagan to Bush to Clinton. So he's if that agenda has never stopped. So so I say that to say no president is able to do nothing because the last president, when the last president is going out, his policies is coming in. That's kind of the point. So at it's the end like, of it all, like I, I feel McCain was a better, would have been a better president. John than McCain? Yeah. <laughs> but, 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 but this is the, this is the piece McCain. of- Better than Obama? But yes. this is the thing that like I want to get, this is the thing that people like miss <laughs> about these conversations. And I want to touch on the point that you brought oh. up because that is the thing, okay? John and I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it that. recent. You keep it recent because we don't have to go back to Obama years because that's a whole other thing. I will sling mud all over the place. But you're an Obama thing. fan, not to then the degree, don't, not don't really. But let me, let me, don't let me, sway let me, away too quick. Right, so here's the thing: people have black people, white people, doesn't matter. Have who support Trump have this idea that when Trump was in office, the economy was good. It was because of what it was what Obama did. When Trump came in office, he inherited a good economy. He didn't have to do anything. And if you look at the actual record and you ask somebody, what did Trump do to make the economy good when he came in office? There isn't an answer because I can give you an answer. He stood up against China and different places and that's he, he not wanted to bring this. our jobs well, here. That that actually A didn't work. B caused more problems than he tried to solve. And C Standing up against China didn't create a good economy. That's what I mean when I talk about understanding that a tariff war doesn't actually help. Well, see, okay. Now that's, going, the, that's the that's the that's the info. That's where I come through, and the, that's where I start slinging the mud after let, I, after I let let's, y'all. Let, let's kind of go back, all right? And I, I'll give you my point on why I say McCain. All right. Obama killed more world leaders. Assassinated by drones. Yes, he did. So, of, of course, our economy, we hit some of the most richest countries mm-hmm. and tore their countries up. Mm-hmm. That slavery started in Libya, <laughs> one of the richest countries that was in the world. So, going back, and, it, and it's just going, it's going back and backpedaling and stuff like that. Mm. With Trump, I'm not a man, listen, man. I don't give a fuck about Trump. You know, I like Trump. I'm going to keep you straight real. I like Trump for the simple fact of he enjoys playing on people's intelligence. Yeah, and he keeps it real, I feel like. 
I, I enjoy that. Yeah. The minute that I have an old um, racist Delaware, if you've been to Delaware, you know what I'm talking about. But we will, That's a whole nother different. Yeah. Tell me that I'm not black if I don't vote for him. We got a hey, we got a problem. Big time. See, and this is why I say we some punk ass niggas. We sure is. <laughs> that generation before us, my, like I'm I'm born a 79s kid. That generation and them other two generations would have never went for that. None. Never went None. for that. Hell no. They would have yeah. did the Politic complete opposite. Wise, Fuck everything him. going back to uh, uh, and, uh, and going back to Colonel, uh, going back to General we Powell. We would have got Bernie Sanders if they didn't. And here's the thing: I didn't want to vote for this motherfucker. He should have been the president, but he didn't. Biden. Want I didn't want. A lot so why'd of us, you vote? We had no choice. It wasn't. You didn't handle. You had no choice. Punk. Did you feel punked? No. Did you what, feel like you were cornered to, I, to I knew vote for him? What happened? It happened in the primaries. What happened in the primaries was is there was a vote right around the point where Bernie Sanders was winning. But there was enough delegates in South Carolina. And so the senator from South Carolina basically was like, look, if you can win, Biden, if you can win South Carolina, you can go ahead and delegates. And then after South Carolina, you go West Coast Coast. and you get California, you get Nevada. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so it was kind of like one of those things where if I can get black people to vote for you in South Carolina, everyone will think that you're the presumptive nominee. And you'll get California. But if you lose South Carolina, then Bernie Sanders will get California. That's what happened. And this is one of those things where I have... He was already going to win. It wasn't that he was already going to win. He came from Obama. He was a vice president to Obama. There's there's that aspect of it, too. And here's the thing. This is is one of the weird things that, like... That's what saved his ass. I'm going to admit this to you right here, right now. In the amount of time that we have sent, because we talk about this stuff all the time, you okay. know what I'm saying? I've had to sit here and like, I talk, I joke about the mudslinging thing, but I've had to listen. I'm like, oh, what's the, I only recently picked up on, like, oh, he's the crime bill guy to you. Because I didn't grow up in that generation. Mm. So to me, all I know is he's Obama's guy. I didn't grow up with crime bill guy. So I had to listen to this other perspective and go, oh, shit. So there's some shit that I didn't know. Yeah. And so what happened is, is that, you know, over the last few months, I've picked up on the reality that, you know, I'm a minutia guy. Mm-hmm. I pay attention to all the little bits and pieces. So I know the little bits and pieces where he misstepped and what did and didn't happen. Yada, 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 yada. But this is the thing that kills Biden for me. Mm. October 7th to right now. Sorry, buddy, I can't do it. I just can't do it. Dog, you can't you can't sit up here and lie on national television on CNN and I can go on Al Jazeera. Yeah. And Al Jazeera goes, This nigga lying. Cause Al Jazeera is Qatari news mm-hmm. and they don't play mm-hmm. that shit over sure there. Don't. So yeah. when when he landed in Gaza and went, oh, oh, he landed in Israel and said, Oh, oh yeah, no, they blew up the hospital. Oh, it was the other team, and, and Al Jazeera's going. No, the fuck it's not. Oh, here's the evidence that proves it's not. I'm like, oh, either this nigga is so stupid he believed it, or someone's got to hand up his ass. And either way, I can't actually sit in good conscience and vote for a motherfucker that would let fucking civilians get murdered like this. And like, I'm voting for you. They'll do no, it to us, I can't. Just know I, I can't do it. I'm I, sorry. Hey, you I got can't. kids? No. Nah. You got kids, Miss Lou? Love my son to death. I love him to fucking death. That's why I understand Ukraine. You gotta uh, love my son to death. That's why we're in bed in Ukraine, because of his son. Before he came in, what was that money from Ukraine was coming yeah, from? Yeah, you're right. It's mm-hmm. Biden's son. Boy, oh boy. Love my, I love Hunter my son. Hunter is a death. motherfucker. Oh, that, that, that motherfucker. motherfucker crack hey, dad, I need, I hold the prostitute like another eight grand. <laughs> yeah. I need you to send it. I'm Hunter, so, oh, I'm so Biden. Biden. Hunter Biden. is a man. Yo, know, the fact that this nigga drove to Las Vegas on crack cocaine in a Porsche 911, I'm sorry. That's some legendary shit, though. 
I wish I could do some shit like that. You give a fuck. My fucking dad's in politics. My dad's the president. My dad's the president, man. Do what the fuck you want to do. Because you have could, fuck he could you imagine? They had pictures of this man looking like Pookie. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Like, Where's the yeah. public outcry? Right. It, the reason why it's not there is because too much information has been found out to just not be A, factual, B, it doesn't fucking matter. There is a reality like, yo, I'm going to tell you on one, I'm going to tell you out one side of my mouth, man, fuck this nigga because of what he's doing. And out the other side of my mouth go, yeah, but some of the shit that they're saying doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. The reality is that Trump has to make it to November 7th without Trump getting- ain't winning. Well, no, he probably will. He, he will. He's not winning. He, he'll he make will. He'll make it. You know why? You know how he will? You know why he will? He'll and I'll tell you exactly why he will. As a guy who does not support Trump, by the way, I'll tell you why he will. Because I'm listening to Middle Eastern people saying, hey, we voted for you and you are putting forth a policy that's killing my relatives back home. Right. And they're saying it out loud. They're on the Internet. TikTok is a motherfucker because white people, white Jews, they're all popping out like going, yo, this is not okay. And so the Middle Eastern people are saying, yo, we voted for this motherfucker and he's bombing our fucking cousins. Hmm. The fact that that's happening, the, the, the people who are, who are looking at the election are saying that he will win or lose by thousands of votes in different districts across different states. Those thousands of votes are people of color. So it's black people, it's Middle Eastern people, it's people who are going, hey man, like I'm kicking it with the Hajis and they're sitting back like, yo, this nigga is not cool. Hey, I'm not going to vote for let, this motherfucker let me, let me, because it's fucking with my homies. Let me, let me break down something to you, bro. All right. Four years ago, I was down south in Louisiana and I was watching them tear their roads up. I'm like, what you doing? It's like, oh man, I'm tearing up this road. I'm like, why? Because when it when the Civil War kicks in, can't nobody come drive towards my house. I have a whole other way of getting up out of my house, but can't no random people. So you got all these people that are building bunkers. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're going to go to it. That Joe Biden, Trump shit is going to turn into a civil war. They're going to assassinate Trump before they let him be president. And Damn, that's what that's it's gonna that's where that. it's gonna kick off at. That's why they're building these bunkers and shit like that. That's what they're not telling you. They're not because this you have to go off the first go round. Caucasian women lost their mind when Trump won. They, oh, they thought the world ended. It's gonna be a stud that pop. <laughs> <laughs> what a deal though. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, 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 hey, mm. please don't come get me because I'm not planning on doing it. I don't. I don't even vote. I don't even care. I right. vote local. Mm. I could care less. It's not gonna affect me. No kind of way, form, or fashion. I'll right. still be at the spot on the spot talking shit. Mm. But before they let that man be president again, like they're showing you from him going <laughs> getting sued in Atlanta to all the scandals behind. She's an idiot. The district attorney. She's an uh, idiot. Yeah. Fanny Willis. She, she kind of is. She kind of is. She, is she, she showed. She, 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 she didn't she show was, us too well. She's really fucking like, up on the young thug hey, case first off, left and I, I, right. I just want to keep it real like, with you. Damn. I, she some, might even be right. It's some of you square niggas around here hey, throwing a dick in these bitches, boy. Because, nigga, what was it? 700000 paid him? <laughs> Ain't he fucking? She paid him. That, that's like... Me having a girlfriend and she's the district attorney yeah. and she pays my law services to go to with that. But me and her go like, home but, and fuck it. But I had the, the credit card and so she was just paying me back. Like Right. What the fuck was y'all two doing? What are you doing? I knew that. They not man, listen, bro. It's Messy. gonna be it's gonna be a civil war, bro. No, I mean on the release, I I'm not she gonna fucked. she had a bad attitude in, on, in, on in, court. In, in, in the time that I've been at the spot, on the spot, you know what I'm saying, podcasting a couple of years ago, I would you know what I would say? I've been like, no. It's all about voting, and we're gonna. And, and then a couple of years later, I'm like, you know what? 
Yeah, it's possible. Fuck it. Who knows? I know. Oh, they already they showed you. <laughs> I don't yeah, think they're going to assassinate him, though. That, think, that's going to be too... That, they can't do like that. This. They're not going to be able to do that. Gonna like be able to get, that's going to be a fucking the problem. They stormed the Capitol. Yeah. Okay, that was to show you. That was a practice run. That's all it was. It was a practice one. You got people around here that is, I am so American, and I fucking love Donald Trump. Yeah. And you... Trump, that's why I say he's smart because he know the one, the the worst thing, the worst people you can have on your side is the rednecks. Is the rednecks and the mountain people. Yes, Lord. Because they will tear this motherfucker up. And they work off emotions. Oh, man. Just the thing floating yeah. around today with uh, some people Trump supporters talking about, you know, this election will be the end of democracy. And they did it at CPAC, which is the big conservative you know, convention. Mm hmm. They're talking about it being the end of end of democracy because they want this person in office. And you know, like you're saying, you're kind of correct. It's like, yo, he's got to beat the case in Georgia, beat the case in Florida, beat the case New York. In, in DC. He lost in New York exactly. already. Come on. Mm. And in New York, they got a black woman, and she's like, "Oh no, I will take his shit if he doesn't pay back this three hundred million." Why do you think the shoes? When you do the math on the shoes. Oh yeah, he's he's gonna make he he made the money back to three hundred fifty million. Maybe he made that. If he, if but he, even if even, there's a million people who order that shoe, and there be a million there people, could be. he's guessed the numbers. At but four, you also have to keep in mind times a million the amount of money that he has taken from the campaign to pay his legal fees. That the RNC is saying, hey, where's that fucking money? Yeah. So now the RNC is looking at him wild. And so if the reality is that the knives are out, it's going to be slow. And like I said earlier, he's got to make it to November. Because even though everyone knows that most Americans don't like Biden, they know that people who voted for Biden, we didn't want to vote for him. A lot of people know that already. Right. So the thing is, it's more like, look, he has to be the only option. And they're going to walk us into a scenario where, well, you know, we can vote for Biden. And yeah, he's old, but he's, he, he's got Kamala Harris and she's black. And you like black well, no, people, right? That, she ain't she's black. Because she put hot sauce on green. That's, hey, that's who's going to that's who's gonna be the candidate. No, it won't be. You don't it, think so? Nah. In four years, it won't, won't be, be. It's going to be Gavin Newsom. Oh, brother. I hey, guarantee hey, you hey, that hey. is the next His, candidate. Hey, that is hey. who the Democrats you, are banking you, on and putting their money I'm tell you, on. I'm He's got to buy that too. He's I'm going to tell you who's going to stop. I'm going to tell you who's going to stop. Gavin, Texas. Nah. Nope. No, they won't. You, in, in, you know, Shit, they you, can't stand him. You need, well, they can't stand him. A, B, Florida. Gavin is ready. But the he, he just put his finger in the asshole of Florida when he did that debate against DeSantis. And when he wiped the floor with DeSantis, everyone went, Oh, every well, there were, we, we two things happened. We all went. So if Biden would just not run, we would have this, and this would be a lot better. Thank you. Go fuck yourselves. And then two, oh, we get this in four years, because he has the talking points ready, and now we have in our we can see. Oh, this is what you look like in a debate, because there's going to be three presidential debates. Three. Do you, Do you think? That Joe Biden is going to last through a presidential debate. No, Joe Biden is going to die. But the Probably. deal is, but, but Gavin, or, uh, Gavin Newsom, who do you think he might have as his uh, vice president running candidate? I got somebody in mind. And y'all going to y'all gonna be like, yeah, fucking right. AOC. <laughs> Michelle Obama. Yep. No, she don't want to do it. You a motherfucking yep. lie. She doesn't want it. She don't, it's not the fact lie. that she wants to. She don't she want, want to it's have the some. money yeah. that they're going to pay. She, I just told you it's gonna she, cost Gavin and Newsom at least eight hundred million for that. Oh, it's gonna be in four just years. Just to have that. Adding inflation, it's gonna be one point two bill. You, I, hello. It's gonna be one point two. And look bill. what the fuck he's doing to California. So all I can say oh, to you is, is he'll be the one. The and I guarantee like, yo, he'll get and he'll bring Michelle Obama, because why? They'll love, they'll feel like we've got something back. It's still a woman. I, it's but still, you, you I don't, know you know how they gonna get us? With shoes. No, nah, not the shoes. <laughs> we'll see if it works. <laughs> hey, they're gonna hit us. They're gonna hit us double time. Mm. I don't know if I like that, but keep going. They're gonna get Beyonce and Taylor Swift to get behind Michelle Obama. 
She don't want it. Michelle does not want it. Doesn't that that's what you do. think. It doesn't I'm, matter. And it comes to money have. and the those, politics. Those two about. right now are the biggest influencers yeah. in the world. Yeah. Beyonce. Beyonce came through and like punched Taylor Swift in the face. And we all watched and went, yeah, you do that shit. <laughs> she did? I no, didn't see that. The fact that like Taylor Swift came, comes out during the Grammys and goes, I'm having a new album. And they pan the fucking crowd who are all other artists. And all the other, other artists went. And then a week and change later, it was the Super Bowl. And then what does Beyonce do? Drops two country songs on Sunday. On Monday, people are saying, well, hey, how come I can't request my Beyonce's country song? And the country music stations go... We don't play Beyonce. What the fuck are you talking about? By Wednesday, oh, we love Beyonce. By the end of the week, oh, she's the number one country, country singer. singer. The country and, singer people don't like her. They're like, don't, why are you coming over here? Ironically, the ones that I'm seeing are saying, oh, no, she's doing more country than what country actually has been doing lately because country's been copying hip hop. <laughs> excuse me, excuse me. Country's been, yeah, country's been grabbing 808s and fucking yeah. drum kits. Yeah, yeah. And so she comes through and I listen to the tracks multiple times. I'm a music guy. I love music. I listen to it. I listen to a little bit of country. And I listened to that shit and went, oh, she did that shit. She did that shit. She did that shit. She did that shit. It worked. It was right. But people, the white women sat back and went, oh, Renaissance. So they're going to go, she's going to go and take all of the genres that black people invented, that white people took over, and then do an entire album with those. Oh, so she did disco, which was house more. Oh, she's going to do country now. Ooh, the next one's going to be rock music. Like, I'm sitting back like... That was all us. Spin us. And they're going, oh my God. So Beyonce's going to do, like... Black music that we stole. Oh my God, I love it so much. Oh, and I'm just sitting back like, <laughs> the fuck's wrong with you people? Like, yeah. That's kind of like going like, yo, not a oh my God, fan. we stole your shit. I'm not either. But you're going to come back and like take it. Oh my God, let's watch. The fuck's wrong with you people? Like, hey, you're going to hey. be out there in your aluminum foil and your cowboy hat? No. <laughs> God, no. Like, Crazy. yo. <laughs> Z, Billy. <laughs> I wasn't. Hey, a- Missy, hey, Missy, I, I was sung her on that song. Come on now, Missy is the beast. Man, on my mama. Beyonce's not all that. Beyonce's I'm garbage, like, let me, let me, man. Yeah, you know. She, 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 like Beyonce's voice. Hey, but the bay boy, the bay high. Man, it's a nigga right now, 6'7, gonna beat my ass and shit like that for talking about Beyonce. <laughs> He's only going to do it because his wife wants him to. No, nah, nah, it ain't because it's, it's, it's him. He, no. he got the shiny boots. His wife is white. Right. And the cowboy, boy, that was, wasn't that, the that was her, horrendous. Yeah. <laughs> I happen to be in three or four different fucking cities. And they all dressed up in their little aluminum foil. I happen to be in three or four <laughs> cities at the time when Beyonce came on her tour. And everybody and their mama had the aluminum foil boots with the hat to match. Silver everything. White women, black women, men. <laughs> <laughs> My brothers. I couldn't get with it, yo. I went to I went to the weekend concert because it was toxic. Oh, you didn't go to the movie theater and watch it and get dressed up too? They nah, all got nah, dressed nah. up to watch it at the movie theater. No, no. Nah, nah. She she did, the movie. She, she did it. She made a video of it and then released it on film. She, at she the did a box whole, office. It was it, she did a and whole movie. And they all dressed up in they silver. At the at the box office at the movie theaters, like I went to the concert, I'm going to the movies. You know yeah. what's funny about that? I couldn't do that shit. You know? I felt that way about niggas when they was going to see Wakanda. <laughs> hey, Wakanda was a good movie, man. Wakanda that shit was, was garbage, man. Yo, Wakanda was not. I felt, yo, I felt I, empowered. I was. I, I didn't was, feel no empowered, man. I was in man. Oakland, going to, at Jack London Square opening night. We saw the second showing. We was drunk off tequila. We was in line. We mm-hmm. saw that shit. When we got done, we went and got more tequila and chicken and waffles and mac and cheese and around the good. corner. Hell yeah. Hey, hey the hero. That vibranium? And then we went and did cocaine after that. <laughs> hey, hey. Sorry. The hero of the movie is Warmonger. It, and that's what yeah, made it good. And he actually becomes Black Panther. That's what made it good. In the actual comic book. That's what made well, it see, good. Well, see, but uh, of course they weren't going to. See, this was. This, because he was a nigga and he went. Well, what the fuck is we doing? This, this no, I think what you call it. What's his name? Michael B. Jordan. What he yeah. play? He was the one. Who's he was yeah, warmonger. warmonger. Yeah, so he's supposed to play. He's, but yeah, he's a nigga, <laughs> but he can't. He can't do it. But I'm gonna keep it a hundred. 
again, it's that generational thing. Mm. When I think of Black Panther, I think of Panther. Right. I think of, so, of you know how they say how they uh, uh, get rid of history? They just got rid of history. No, they didn't because there's, when you talk to these kids, about Black Panther, there's, about Wakanda. When there's I, when a you talk comic to these book kids, fro, fro, of, of, I know. called Black Panther from that era made based how off. How do you? 34. You know that. You know about Stan Lee. You know no, about Mark. I know about you know the about Black, the history. I know about this because my dad, who's older than you, told me he had Black Panther so comic he, books. Hear what I'm saying. Okay. That generation under you, you say Black Panther? They're not talking about he, Huey P. Newton. They talking about Wakanda forever. That part. Fictional. That part. You just got rid of you just got rid of no, a whole that, era. How, no, nobody knows about Huey Newton. Not 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 these I'm, millennials. I'm telling you, I'm talking I'm to these. Ta- I'm not talking about when I say when I say like, again, my dad is. In his 60s. No, no, I know what the point that you make. Yeah, I know like, the point. He can if draw you was the, ask, if you was to ask, the difference. If you was to ask your dad about Black Panther, nine times out of ten, he he's would have told you about Chicago. Oakland. He's he's he knows about Black Panthers in Chicago. So he, Fred Hampton. Yes. So listen to what My I'm saying. My grandmother went to the scene the day the day to see for so herself. So when you talk to this mm. generation now, no fucking clue what we're talking about. Exactly. Not a clue. They're gonna think of they're Wakanda. gonna think of Disney. Black Panther. Wakanda. I mean, I don't know. You just erased the whole history. In Oakland, they definitely did that. That, in, I could only speak for. It ain't even an in and out What, in la- what no made more. them hold on a little bit, people know, is Tupac. Tupac kept that shit Come going. Come on. Yeah, talking I'm about the Black Panther. Because if you didn't know wild. about Black Panther talking about that, yeah. you wouldn't know you, about you, it. you know how wild it is to be walking down the street in Oakland and like on a daily basis, they just play Tupac out the fucking windows. And it's just like, it's the most cliche shit on the planet. But you kind of vibe to it like, damn, man, this is Oakland. I don't know what the fuck's going on in Oakland now because it's been a few years since I've been in Oakland. But, yo, that shit was the fucking shit back then, bro. Like, man, like, like Oakland had that fucking, Oakland had soul four or five years ago. And now I'm like, it's gone. I'm not even, it's it's, it's sad. It's It's so sad because I'm telling people, my family, I'm telling people, like, yo, you don't understand. Like, you could be in Oakland and you could feel like you was at home. It's time. You know what? You want to keep it real with you? The robberies that's being committed in L.A. is by Oakland niggas. Really? There ain't L.A. niggas robbing them motherfuckers like that. Them Oakland niggas. But the smash and grabs? Yeah. The actual robberies. Oh, damn. It's Oakland niggas doing that shit. Damn. Oakland niggas been on that hype. You know, we used to go through Oakland. That should be the first thing they ask. Nigga, that, hey, that's your folks? Is that your folks? Because if it's not, we about to rob well, Yeah, we about to get them. So yeah. after the pandemic... It's nothing in Oakland for them niggas no more. Yeah, they yeah. ride down to L.A. Yeah, you right. And they hit a lick, and they ride back to the Bay. And it's mm-hmm. a gang of Oakland. That's why when it's see, L.A. niggas ain't gonna never take four, five, six niggas to go hit no lick. Nah, that's it Oakland. Might be niggas. one other nigga. <laughs> I'm telling you, that's <laughs> Oakland. I'm telling. keeping it real. Yo, too it, many niggas. Too many niggas can tell. Hey, look, shit. They might hit four, or five different ones. It's like it's know? like man when 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 motherfuckers started. Talking about bipping. The worst thing they could have ever did was put it on a news story. Because now what? Everybody's trying to do it in other states. Well, you know. That was only something you dealt with when you went to to Oakland. And then, I'm going to keep it real with you. If you a street nigga, you ain't got to worry about that. Niggas know who cars to hit, know who no cars not to hit. Yeah, like if you in in a neighborhood, neighborhood, you already know, like. You just know, because I was living in the bottoms, and so it's just like, you know, yeah. you're not really going to... You go down this particular street, you already know, like, don't... Nah, we're, we're residents. We live here. Don't do that shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, that yeah. was... And that was, like, four, five, six years ago, and I'm like, damn, dog. Like, it's it feels bad to, like, think about how far it's fallen when Keith Lee left early, and they sent that nigga to fucking Oakland, and he was down in the bottoms going over. I'm like, the fuck did y'all niggas send him over there to get tacos for? What the fuck was y'all niggas doing? They sent this nigga to the Tenderloin, to Brenda's, to get fucking fried chicken. And if you've ever been in yeah, of course. the Tenderloin, yeah. you don't you don't send a food guy to the Tenderloin to get fried chicken. Send him to the other location. What's wrong with you niggas? Well, you know, but that's the thing, though. You gotta love the Tenderloin. If you want to buy drugs or go to the yeah, bar, it's the only yes. place you can still see sixty fucking niggas hanging on the fucking corner, <laughs> and forty Mexicans, and nobody say nothing. Police don't say nothing. They ride by. Hey, <laughs> nobody say nothing. It is an open air. It's been, but 
It's the coldest part. It's been there for forever. But, but here's the thing. You, here's what's wild, bro. When I first walked through the Tenderloin, mm-hmm. it was when I left St. Louis. Okay. When I left St. Louis, and I've been all up and down, all through North St. Louis, U City, all that shit. And I'm walking through the Tenderloin. I walked through the Tenderloin just to do something. I'm just walking. I didn't know anybody. I come back to, to, to the dorm, which is on fucking Sutter. And I see a map, and they have the tenderloin like marked out, like don't go there. And I'm like, what's wrong with that shit? If you went to St. Louis, bombed out blocks, bombed out. When you walk through the tenderloin, it's not <coughs> weird. There's nothing weird about it. It's not. There's nothing different about it. You don't even realize you're in the hood if you're coming out of St. Louis. So when I'm in the tenderloin, I'm like, oh, this is normal. Who cares, man? Whatever, dog. Like. Like, that's what's weird about the different fucking tough parts of different cities in America. Like, they'll have you believe in the Tenderloin is the worst place in the world, but the, some of the best food is over there. Mm. You just got to, you have to know that. Well, There's good food. Don't take your car there. You park further downtown or further up, and then you walk in between, you grab your food, and you go. Well, you got to also look at it. You, gotta, you also got to look at it. Anywhere there's traditional black neighborhoods are always going to be, they're always going to say is, because that's what the Tenderloins is. Yeah. Traditional mm-hmm. black neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? Going back. Now this poop Fillmore. Yeah. Going mm-hmm. back. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. for real. Yeah. No. Where all the clubs used to be. No different. Broadway, Central, where all the clubs used to be mm-hmm. back in the 40s and everything. That was our Harlem. Right. You know what I'm saying? Now, oh, that's the east side. They ain't trying to go there. Man. Yeah. So it's like St. Louis. St. Louis mm-hmm. was a thriving fucking city. Yeah. Yeah. I'll give you a city worse than fucking, worse looking than St. Louis. You St. Louis? Nah. <laughs> Gary, crazy. Indiana. Oh, yeah. Mm. Nah, I'll give you I one worse. You know what I'm worse? What? Youngstown. Ooh. I got family there, too. I, I go In back. Youngstown? Youngstown. My mom's side is from Youngstown. You can go buy, you can go buy a fucking corporate building. For, you can go buy a building for like 10000 you know what I'm saying? Like, 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 yeah, I was please. sitting back like, but why not? Though? But I got a homie over there getting rich. That's what I'm saying. Like, yo. He, bought a, he bought a building for like 10 racks. He's selling food. He over there getting rich. I swear to God. I'm sitting back like, yo, I'm sitting like, yo, if I could get 10 niggas with 10,000 a piece and buy a building or buy pieces of different buildings and put different bu- different businesses in different buildings, you know what I'm saying? We could just build out a fucking mall, build our own mall inside one of these best spots. And we could just make the business come to this one particular place. You know what I'm right. saying? Like, man, I'm telling you, like that shit. I'd be looking at these these houses and these spots in the Midwest, and they're acting like there's nothing happening here. And you don't want it. I'm like, no, this is exactly what you want. It's the Midwest. You can, you can create. There's there's no. Mm. You think about the Midwest, up in Midwest, Detroit, Michigan, whatever. The worst thing you have is snow. It's no earthquakes. It's no tornadoes. The summers are warm. You're near. The plains or whatever. No, so you're near a lot of a lot of metropolitan cities. You're a you're, couple of hours away. You're a couple of hours away from a lot of shit. You're just cold. And, and all it is, you just got to deal with the winter. Like, yeah, like why not just go back there? It's like I was listening to this one black guy talking about the fact that, like, yo, why don't we all just go? <coughs> we should all just move to Alabama, Mississippi, Tennessee. I don't want to do that, but the idea was is why don't we go someplace where we can be the majority. And then we can make the decisions. So that's what the Mormons did. Yeah, but, the Mormons but, did it already. And why not just do but, what but, they did? But look, look at look at Shelby County, which is, which is the county of fucking Memphis. Memphis has what eighty five percent black. But if you look at the politicians, they're still white. That is what it's hap- most corrupted county. That's know? what happens when you have generation after generation Detroit. saying, "Don't vote." Detroit. That's what happens when you have generations. Nah, they saying, voted in Detroit. They done had a generation to generation of fucked up ass mayors and politicians. And like, and, yeah. The white man gonna save us. But that's the thing Chicago. Where it's like, you, this is when we said earlier that the 30 year plan. Where's our 30 year plan? Why don't why don't we sit back and go, okay, cool, yeah, you know, you know, yeah, 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 you're right. So what you have to do, you start from the ground up. You start at Alderman's. You start at the school board. Okay. You start at all these little government jobs that you don't know. The comptroller. I don't know what the fuck a comptroller does, but why can't you be a comptroller? And then, you know, we'll we'll use all the, you use these things and you get into all because this is what they did. 
in all these places is that they just got all the little jobs that no one cared about. Just do that. This is what the Chinese keep telling the Africans. You can go on the line and it's, there's a Chinese dude dressing this nigga down saying, like, yeah, the, 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 the white people came and they built the fucking railroads. And then when they left, you didn't keep the fucking railroad up. You didn't learn from what they did and take it and then do something better. And so when I look at it, so I'm like, yeah, go to Detroit, buy the building, okay? We'll create the tax base there. I'll get a job working at the school, on school board. You run for mayor. So-and-so runs for this. We're going to run for that. We'll pool all the money. And then we get to be both sides of the coin. Well, hey, you can be a Republican and I'll be a Democrat and we'll both be on the board of whatever the fuck and we'll, we'll be corrupt. I'll keep it real with you. I'll go back to the Midwest and mine, mine coins. Damn. Do that too. Because for one, your infrastructure is already... So it's not like y'all had a... So I have all the power. I'd mine coins over in motherfucking St. Louis, mine coins in Ohio, same man. Then I'd do build charge points. I'll teach them how to do renewable energy, get them into that, man. We can build this thing, man, 15. But you, I'm going to tell you, like, I'm in South Carolina. I'm, I'm building. Right. They don't want us. Really? I, I'm over there. What I got property. I'm, I'm clearing them. property, everything. I've been sued two times by people in South Carolina talking, oh, I've infringed on their property. By cutting down the trees, I can sit here. I can show you the text messages. I just had a, I just had a dude call me. To, oh, I make millions of dollars, and I do this. And what do you plan on doing with this property? And why? And are you just clearing it to us selling? This my tree cutter out there in South Carolina. He's showing me, hey, I done cut down all the trees, and I've been doing this right. right. I get more pushback from the good old boys that already have their infrastructure that's in there that don't want to let us in. That cities like Detroit. That cities like St. Louis. That cities like Pittsburgh. That city, they don't want us over there. They don't, they, because we, we mess up the whole economy. Because they're on year 25 of their 30-year plan, and we, we're doing this. The thing is, is that we have to be willing to take the pain the first five years of the plan of fighting that fight and having that conversation. And if we're willing to do that, and if we're willing to think in 30 years, and for instance, your son is 10, hey, look, you you need to become a lawyer, actually, because that's what we actually need. And in X amount of years, when you get your law degree, you're going to start this firm because we need you to fight X, Y, Z. The 30-year plan includes, right. we got to tell, you got to tell the kids. Because I mean, you watching, you have, you've seen the, the, the one show about the, the, the family in Montana, and the Duttons and all this shit. What, the black family? No, nah, Yellowstone. Yellowstone, right? And the whole thing is like, you know, the father, he runs the family. He's like, yeah, okay, so yeah. Yeah, you, you are going to work in government. You, you're going to work in police. And then you, you do whatever the fuck you do. But the whole point is, is that like, oh, you have a job to do. I'm watching this fucking, this, this one Chinese show. And they're talking about the fact that like, yo, in that family, it's like, yo, no, 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 no. You don't do what you want to do. Protect the family. The family says, we need to build and do this over here. So when you say, oh, I want to go be an actor. Nah, nigga, you're not being no actor. Right. You're going to go be an engineer. You're going to be a farmer because we need mm -hmm. farmers and so we would have to reevaluate how we live our lives uh, as people. I, I give you, I give you an to example. To do that, I give you an example. We all work in the entertainment field. Yeah. yeah. It hurts me every time. And I'm gonna keep it real with you. When I run into an intelligent brother and he talking about he want to be a rapper, <laughs> hurts me. Yeah. Because you got production, you got management, mm -hmm. you got you editing, mean. you have man marketing, you have so many fields that you're gonna have a long. Run, be rich, mm -hmm. but you're going for a window of opportunity that I tell any rapper, if you don't at least have about 300 to 400,000 to put behind you, you're never going to win. And it, it hurts shitting on a person's dream, but it's the fucking truth. Yeah. Which rapper do you know that didn't have that much money behind them to win unless they had 
a benefactor None. of some sort. Like, oh, oh, your favorite rapper's Jeezy? Hundreds of None. thousands. Oh, your favorite rapper's Gucci? Oh, None. you like Ludacris? Well, he took, he said he took 10 grand and he saved up. They were like, yeah, you need, you need. See, the, mm, I, I, there I tell, is no, I tell, I'm broken. I'll keep it real it. with you. Right. I'll tell any rapper. I'll be like, hey, look, bro, you want to rap? Don't rap. Mm-hmm. Get you 10 rappers. Right for them little dudes. Make your money off the streaming money. Make your odds that much more bigger mm-hmm. to win than you are with men because you you it's it's it like bro you it doesn't has nothing to do with the talent. Mm-mm. Got nothing to do if you got the best cadence. Got nothing to do with that. Got everything to do with who walks your fucking music in. That part right there. And who's gonna be the budget behind it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So they don't it, it, I, you know and and. They're lost when I tell them, yeah, we got industry plants. Sexy Red is an industry plant. Drake is an industry plant. As quiet as people want to, yeah. as quiet as people don't, because then they, they have not a clue. Because I tell them, oh, yeah, Drake and Drake and Drake. Drake is Jew, is a Jew that's a brother. So he gets to say nigga. Started out in the TV business. Made this whole fictitious story that his daddy was nowhere around. And he was a drunk. His daddy is the king of Memphis. He comes from a family. Daddy comes from a family of music that we grew up listening to, of writers and everything like that. So how come he wasn't going to be successful? How come? But he sold this fucking dream. It's, it's like no different than, oh, Drake's dick picture accidentally came out. No. I'm like, man, that nigga went to the DR, probably got a fucking dick pump and shit like no, that. Yeah, and man. now he wanna And got a dick implant. Yeah, and now he wanna Extended. stress like he got the big like man, come on, only a weirdo. What, 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 what kind of weirdo he are you? He wasn't getting no pussy before. Come on. <laughs> Until now. Yeah. Man, is it man? Hey, mm-hmm. hey, how much time we got? Because I know man, we've been going for a minute. We're going an hour and a half. Right? We're going an hour and a half, so we got another five minutes. My bladder oh, my has about five minutes, yeah. Wasn't so bad. We talked about some stuff. Oh, man, we, we talked, talked about, about a lot Jews. Of shit. <laughs> we talked about niggers. We talked about Mexicans. No, we yeah. really talk about Mexicans. I'm just naming off epithets. Yeah. I'm not even, you know, because the immigrants, <laughs> man, you know what I'm saying. That's a whole nother story. All I'm saying is, they're not bringing enough taco trucks and enough food. It ain't Mexicans, though. I know, but I want more Mexicans. Damn it, I need taco trucks. Do oh, you realize yeah, how have tacos out here? The tacos out here suck. Oh. Well, damn, I need to get me a little taco They're in truck. Olympia and shit, bro. You, what you, get rid, you get rid of that. You get rid of that. I'm not fooled. If you go like, food. Food. I don't see, I don't like, I found food. good Mexican food outside of Seattle. Just can't sell nine dollar hot dogs outside the club. Makes no sense. I just don't have the time for it. I'd be out there, nigga, three, man, three for nine tacos. Oh, mama's two, 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 two. Why the fuck are you gonna go? You gonna spend nine dollars? You know, their thing is they put cream cheese on the fucking hot dog. This shit is disgusting. This shit is disgusting. I tried it one time. It was a little bit too. Who the fuck would put cream cheese on a fucking hot dog, man? I was gonna say it was too creamy, Mm. but I was gonna do that like in the camera, whatever. Be like it was too creamy for me, but like you know, I can tell you like it creamy. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> got a little white stuff on the side of your mouth. Oh, <laughs> no, I'm playing. Not I had to check. Got a little bit of, little bit of yeast yeah, infection, yeah. right? Yo, <laughs> let's not even go there because I've seen some weird shit this week on that shit, and I don't even want to get into it. Oh. So anyway, this chick made fucking cinnamon rolls okay. with her yeast infection, right? And then oh, I've seen that. And then what do you mean? She has a yeast infection. She had a yeast infection, made cinnamon rolls, and gave it to her husband. Here's the thing. He was cheating. No. This was for Valentine's Day. But here's what happened a week later. He is got that sick in his throat. They both did. It's called thrush. They both got yeast infections in the mouth. And then a week later, because she talked about all this shit on TikTok, now She's going to jail. No, he's leaving her. Good job, sir. Leave that well, hoe. Dirty bitch. There's a lot of steps where this went wrong. And I'm thinking to myself, like, nigga. Did he know this? Yes. Oh, he knew. So he was embarrassed. Like, damn. No, no, this, was, this was for Valentine's. This was just like, well, I made this, I made cinnamon rolls with yeast from my body. And I'm thinking back, like, nigga, infection. Yeast infection is two words. You say the whole thing. Okay? So how was you gonna eat cinnamon rolls made from a yeast infection and be cool about it and then let her talk about the shit on the, the same internet? way you Creole, man, and your aunties, man, was putting fucking blood in the goddamn and spaghetti. spaghetti. <laughs> and putting chicken bones outside the dough. And burying the drawers yeah. outside in the yard. 
Why you got to make it personal? I'm just saying. <laughs> he said you was queer. <laughs> I'm just saying. Some of the shit you hear. Damn, bro, you like, what? Okay. They're I'm just white, curious. I, I was getting ready to ask. Yeah, I knew it. I had to. White. I just it's like, come this, on. This white shit. I ain't never heard what of it. What type of, I mean, what you would do for attention? Like, we are living in a self-seeking <laughs> attention environment world. Like, everybody wants attention. I don't understand why he would eat that, though. Like, why would you Why would you that? eat pussy? That's different. Why would you suck dick? But he didn't think why it was a yeast ass? infection. He probably thought, like, it's my yeast. I don't know. I, I sound stupid. Why no, Let me shut up. That was terrible. That is kind of different. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, hey, hey, so she basically she basically put um, Monistat 7 on, as, as the frosting. That's no, what right. She used that as, like, as the bacon. I know what you're saying. Yeast, yeast like that you would bake rise. to make it rise. And the thing about it is, is I'm she sitting was like, scooping it and just was like... Because that's the only way yeah. you're going to scoop yeast. I you're scooping it with your out. finger between your pussy. Mm. And, you, and it's so caked you, up hey, and you so know, you know what she did? I don't think there's any other way that could have You know happened. what she did? She dragged the puss across the carbon and, he did, she, and scraped it up. <gasps> that's a visual I can't unsee. Hey, don't yeast infections itch? I don't know. Why are you asking Damn. me? <laughs> if you think about yeah, it, yeah. it, dragging her motherfucking puss across mm. the carpet. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Oh man! Mm-hmm. So anyway, it's been it's been good to be back on uh, on the spot at the spot. <laughs> oh man! I'm so glad to be back with Shane again. He's the lube guy. Um, second of all, hey, it's karmatic, like you said. I can't help myself. Um, yeah, but we got some music to listen to. I'm sure you guys do. All right, you about to listen to too, man. So you know what I'm saying? We're going to close out Miss LaRue, man. Go ahead, man, and 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 tell him, man, you feel me? How great and wonderful you are. I am definitely great and wonderful. By the way, I enjoy looking at your booty chin. This is amazing here. I didn't know. I kind of got like turned on a little bit. Can I just like. (laughs) Who's your daddy? Yeah. Sorry. (laughs) She smells nice. Oh, thank you, Kylie. But yeah, but you can actually find me on on Instagram at Dominique underscore LaRue 21. Um, Also, you can actually find me in the same place on um, YouTube and also on TikTok. Uh, I've got a lot of shows coming up. I will be in Detroit uh, March uh, 1st through the 4th. Um, Got some shows lined up there at Punchline and then we'll be in Atlanta. So I'm super excited uh, for that right there. So you could definitely find me there. Uh, Rock the ruler, man. Where you been at, baby? Rock the ruler, you know what I'm saying? Look. You can find me on IG under Rock the Ruler, R A K D A R U L E R. And you can find me, ironically, on Spotify under the same name. You know, it's weird. Look there. You'll find stuff. Don't at me. Even in the lube section, you'll find him. Man, <laughs> I just want to thank Miss LaRue. It's been a blessing. If you don't have had a chance just to be around this young woman, man, she is a, a, a center of life. She will keep you laughing. She's intelligent. She's smart. So if you get a chance, man, pull up, man. Go check her out, man. Because, like, you know what I mean? If she wasn't funny, I wouldn't have her here. I'd be like, man, get her corny ass up out of here. <laughs> but, nah, she can run with us. So, man, you know, I want to thank our studio audience. They waiting on us to listen to the music. Yeah. After we done say, hey, after we done damn near feel like we jinxed them. <laughs> hey, don't be a rapper. So, anyway, let's listen to your music, though. <laughs> nah, it's all love, though, man. You know what I mean? But, man, you know what I'm saying? Hey, man, for a lot of them, it's like I want them to, the rap game is cool, but I want them to know the business side because that's where the money's at. Right. Fuck. The rapping only lasts. If, if the crazy part is every rapper goes into the business. Of course. So it's like why not get a jump start ahead and going for the business, and then when you sit in the business, then you can put out your album as you feel sick, as you feel free. 30-year plan. Man, that's the Kanye. That's how you Kanye got on. That part right there. He was there just to do beats and shit. And when niggas had extra studio time, he started doing his shit. So it's like, man, you know what I mean? Hey, man, you youngsters, man, youngsters, brothers. Hey, y'all going into that entertainment game, bro? Learn about three or four different streams of income for it. If you rapping, man, go pick up, man, pick up a camera, man. You know what I'm saying? Join the union, man. Join the SAG. Go into television. Going to audio, going to marketing, going to PR, start your PR firm. You know what I'm saying? But get get money. It's more than one way to get money. You ain't got to be in front of the camera. Because when I break down the numbers, and when I'm going to do an episode when I break down the numbers and who really gets paid from these contracts and shit, man, y'all going to be like, what the fuck? Hmm. 
So to 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 all my my brothers, start your own label and go sign rappers. Make your streaming money. You got man, you know what I'm saying? That's ghetto go. Ten rappers that average a hundred thousand streams a month. Man, psh, come on, man, you sitting on fifty racks. You do a fifty. You do a fifty fifty deal with them. You give them twenty five. Man, you got twenty five in your pocket. You ain't even do nothing. You take the five. You put a marketing team behind it. You take another two, you put a PR firm in front of it. Then you sit behind the fucking thing and you collect your money. Pay your producers too, by the way. As, same, right as a producer. The producers, oh, let's, the producers are, should already have their business and everything set in standards and stone because they should be already getting their 50% of when the album dropped mm-hmm. off top. So you ain't even have to worry about the producers and shit like that. But you know, we got a producer here, so you know, I'm going to fuck with them a little bit. <laughs> but nah, man, y'all stick to y'all dreams. If that's your dream, just learn the business side of it. That's the main thing. Yeah. Stop letting these motherfuckers a, a rob y'all. I'm tired of looking at Unsung and see the, the same outcome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we was hot. Oh, yeah, yeah, man, but we're we're still touring. The motherfucker's in a wheelchair <laughs> with a breathing <laughs> machine performing a song. Like, nah, man. On get TV rich, one. man. <laughs> I swear to God, on TV, that boy that unsung, man. On TV one. Shit, man, we over here at the spot, man. You know what I'm saying? The thing of Miss LaRue again. Yes, it was a pleasure. Rob Nova, here. Shane the man. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, Lucas. And of course, man, my buddy, fucking McGlover. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and we up out of here.